Hi there and happy Asteroid Day. And I am delighted to welcome Jan Werner, who is the Director General of ESA. Jan, welcome. Hello, how are you doing? Good, thank you. And how are you? Fine, I'm in Paris. Everything is okay. Um, so you guys at ESA have been supporters of Asteroid Day for some time. And I just wanted to find out, first of all, why Asteroid Day is so significant to you? The more important question would be, why not? Uh, because asteroids are really very impressive parts of our universe. So asteroids can be a, a threat for the Earth, but asteroids can be also a source for the future. So therefore, asteroids are really impressive parts of our solar system. And therefore, as ESA is a space agency, we are also interested in any part of our universe. And obviously, throughout the discussions here on Asteroid Day, we've been talking about something which sounds almost like science fiction, but that is the potential of a, a large asteroid colliding with Earth. And it might sound like science fiction, but it has happened before in the past and it, and it could one day happen in the future. How important is planetary defense to the work that you guys are doing at ESA? The problem is, first of all, yes, it happened and it will happen again. That's clear. It's not only that the dinosaurs died out because of an asteroid impact. It also was in 2013 in Chelyabinsk that an asteroid hit the Earth. There are more than 170 uh, impact craters of asteroids throughout the Earth. So therefore, it is really a threat. The problem is, I cannot tell you when the next will hit the Earth. And this is my problem. When I talk to politicians and ask for money for these uh, programs, then they ask me, will it happen during my term? And I cannot say yes. I cannot say no. I cannot say yes. So what we did is uh, we built an overall program around it called Space Safety and Security. And we put it on the table in our last ministerial conference in CV last year. And we got uh, a lot of money, something like 500 million euros for that program overall. And this has as one part also to go to an asteroid, to hit a small moon of an asteroid, um, and then uh, see what will happen so we do this together with uh, with nasa so nasa will hit this dd moon as it is called and we will do the science around it i have to pick up on one point and that is the the fact that you mentioned a moon of an asteroid because many people might not know but asteroids also have moons don't they yeah so what what does moon means moon means that you have a body a, a celestial body which is surrounding which is orbiting another one so we could say even that we are the moon of the sun so our moon is the moon of the Earth and asteroids are tiny parts and they might have also other parts surrounding orbiting these tiny parts and therefore Didi Moon is the moon of Didi Mos. I love it. And um, HERA, which is the, the European Space Agency part of this mission, um, could you just explain a bit more about um, what HERA is going to be doing and how you're working in collaboration with NASA? So you know that uh, what we are trying to do together with NASA is billiard in, uh, in space, to play billiard. So what does it mean in billiard? You are having a tiny ball and then you hit this ball and you try to move this ball in the right direction. This is what is about um, billiard. Now the, the point is these asteroids are not as spherical as a ball. They are, have some different form they have a different uh, point of the center of gravity. It's not in the middle automatically. They have also some surface which we don't know. So therefore to learn how to play billiard in space is really difficult. And therefore the Americans, NASA, will go there and hit this uh, Didi moon. And we will observe exactly what is the crater, what is the movement after hitting it, and so on. So it's really learning how to avoid an impact of an asteroid in future. So the idea is, is if in the future we, we found an asteroid which was on a, a potential path with Earth, um, the learnings from these, these missions could actually help move the asteroid out of the way. That's, that's the intention. So uh, Bruce Willis did it once, uh, but he for sure will not do it again. And the method was also a different one. So we are looking for a different solution, which is really a secured and safe solution. So the most dangerous thing would be that we deflect the motion uh, of the asteroid and then it hits another place of the earth so that should be avoided so therefore we need to know very early when uh, something is uh, in the future happening so in order to hit it as early as possible to deflect the asteroid not to hit the earth and do you think sometimes um, when we talk about 
going to space to deflect an asteroid. And of course, you mentioned um, Bruce Willis with his movie from the 90s. But um, do you think sometimes people in the general population don't take as seriously as they should the potential threat there is from asteroids and how we need to work together for planetary defense? What is important is a narrative. You have to explain to people what is the danger, what is what are the opportunities. It's there are similar several uh, aspects like that. So uh, I'm, we are now discussing about an asteroid hitting the Earth, but also solar flares are very dangerous and can, can hit the Earth and uh, destroy also our electronic systems, etc. So therefore, space safety is something where we are really trying to protect our Earth from uh, external threats like solar flares, asteroids, etc. So therefore, it is really something to have a sustainable life on Earth. It's very important, but you have to have a narrative. You have to explain, similar to climate change, which people did not believe at the beginning. And, and do you think it's a case of um, so much of what we do in space, people just assume it's about asteroids, but uh, sorry, it's about astronauts, um, but actually um, it's all these robotic missions and these missions such as HERA to, to an asteroid, which are bringing huge potential to life here on Earth and huge benefit to life here on Earth. But it's more than just the, the protection of the Earth. At the same time, it's also science. You know that science is driven by curiosity. And to understand more about asteroids will mean also to understand more about our universe. To understand more about our universe means also to understand more about what is the, the, the meaning and the reason we have humans in this uh, solar system. So there is a big chain from the tiny asteroid so the big question of humanity, why are we here and what is our future? So is it fair to say that studying asteroids is really about our origins and our destiny? Exactly. And, and on a personal level for you, Jan, why, and I, and I think many of us will share this passion, but why are you so passionate about the, the work that you do at ESA and the, the work that you do in studying asteroids at ESA? The, I'm the director general of ESA, not the director special of ESA. So therefore, I cannot say that the asteroid is the one and only thing I'm doing. I have and I like to do all the different things, uh, what we are doing, Earth observation, navigation, telecommunication, exploration, science. And asteroids are a very inspiring part of that. Uh, also to the question of are there special resources we can use in the future from asteroids. So asteroids are really something which I'm really interested in and therefore here are this mission together with NASA is, of, of course, finds my interest. And we just have to touch on that finally, you mentioned in terms of resources with asteroids, because not only are they um, exciting for our origin and our destiny, but also enabling us to explore further into the solar system. Exactly. So next time we go into space, uh, whether we go to the moon or Mars or whatever body, we should not bring all the stuff with us, but we should use the sources, resources which are over there. So for instance, to build shelters on the surface of the moon uh, or on, on Mars, uh, or to have uh, hydrogen and oxygen out, of, oxygen out of the water, which we find over there. So therefore to learn about uh, resource utilization is a very important thing for future exploration uh, in our solar system. And uh, the asteroids are an interesting part also for that. Well, Jan, I think it's been incredible chatting to you. I think there's, there's so much exciting stuff to come um, in, in all of the science that ESA is doing, but particularly um, with studying asteroids. So thank you very much for your time and happy Asteroid Day. Thank you. Happy Asteroid Day.
Happy Asteroid Day.